All right, thanks for watching and today we'll determine whether the following crazy series converges using the two methods. So first, of course, because we have ln, this just screams out to use the integral test. So let's use the integral test for this. So let's try to determine if the following integral converges. So integral from 3 to infinity of x, ln of x, and then ln of ln of x. Yes. And well, the beautiful thing is, so you might guess u substitution, and you're right, because let u be ln of ln of x. Then using the Chen Lu, we get du, it's 1 over ln of x, this derivative, times this derivative, times 1 over x, which is precisely here. Whoa! And then, well, the endpoints become ln of ln of 3, and this becomes ln of ln of infinity, which just becomes infinity. So this integral simply transforms to the integral of ln of ln of 3 to infinity of 1 over u du, well, which diverges because this just becomes uh, ln of infinity minus ln of ln of ln of 3. ln would be so proud. Okay, and that becomes infinity. So this diverges, and therefore the first series diverges. However, I want to give you another cool um, way of doing this because there's something called the block test, which is especially useful for this uh, series. And I want to remind you, what does the block test say? The block test just says that this series from uh, n equals, let's say, 3 to infinity of a n converges if and only if the series of the following blocks, I think k from 2 to infinity, of 2 to the k, a 2 to the k converges. So it just groups things into blocks of length 2 to the k. And well, let's apply this to the series. So this is a n. Then what, does we do? what do we get? So the sum from k from 2 to infinity of 2 to the k a 2 to the k becomes 2 to the k over 2 to the k ln of 2 to the k times ln of ln of 2 to the k. Okay, 1, 2, yeah, 3. And then the nice thing is this simplifies. So we get 2 to the k over 2 to the k, which becomes a sum from k from 2 to infinity of 1 over, so k ln of 2. And then, maybe let me draw it here. So this becomes a sum from k from 2 to infinity of 1 over k ln of 2, and then ln of a k ln of 2. 1, 2, okay. And then the nice thing is the ln of 2, uh, it comes out So what we get is 1 over ln of 2, the sum from k from 2 to infinity of 1 over k. And then here again, we can use the addition of for ln. So this becomes k ln of uh, k, yeah, k ln of k plus ln of 2 like this in parentheses, and now we want to compare this to a certain series. Now, uh, ln of 2 for sure, that's uh, less than ln of k, or I guess less or equal, and therefore, because we're taking reciprocals, this thing is greater or equal to 1 over ln of 2 times the sum from k equals 2 to infinity of 1 over ln k, uh, ln of k, plus ln of k. 
mistress by comparison and then What we then get is the following. So this becomes one over ln of two times the sum from k from two to infinity of one over two k ln of k. And that becomes one over two ln of two. The sum from k equals two to infinity of one over k ln of k. However, in a previous video, we've shown that 1 over k, ln of k to the pth power, that's uh, divergent, that's convergent if and only if uh, p is greater than 1. So this thing, 1 over k, ln of k, to the p converges if and only if p is greater than 1. However, here p is equal to 1, so this thing is actually divergent. So it equals to infinity. Therefore, this series equals infinity, but the original one we had is bigger than this series. Therefore, the original one also goes to infinity. So in conclusion, we get that the sum from n equals, I guess, at least the sum from k equals 2 to infinity of 2 to the k, a 2 to the k, diverges, therefore original thing diverges as well. So therefore, um, the sum from n equals 2 to infinity of, what did we have? 1 over n, ln of n, ln of ln of n. is infinity as well. So again, uh, same one series, two different methods. All right, thank you very much.